Hey Lee. Dude, where did you get my favorite consoles controller at? Dude, I found it in your room, man. You didn't oh. know it was in there? I mean, yeah, I didn't know you could. Oh, dude, that that was when gaming was at its highest. And probably my favorite generation of consoles was then. Like, the original Xbox was just fantastic. Like, I don't know what else. Like, nothing. Like, everything worked. Nothing was broken besides that people overseas think the controller was too big. Yeah. Like, my hands are massive. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> the, I that controller is awesome. And guess what? They even made. For all the people on our Facebook page that commented, why would you use that <laughs> controller in a profile picture? It was just a good controller. They even remade it for the new consoles. Like, yeah. Who else? Hyperkin. Hit us up, man. I need a little review of that thing. Please. Please. Okay. Anywho. Yeah. That was a great, great generation. I mean, I don't like, what was your favorite? Oh, oh. God. I, <laughs> Lee... I'm really, and I really apologize, YouTube. PlayStation 1 and 64 <laughs> generation, Gen 5, man. That Gen 5? Was, generation 5 was where it was at. And unfortunately, uh, I really think my favorite console of all time is the PlayStation 1. Ouch. I don't like... How do you... Okay. I don't like the practices... That went on with the PS1, especially in the PS2, <laughs> the 3, and 4. I don't like where Sony took gaming, and I I can't. I have to hold Microsoft just as guilty. Yeah, yeah. They took it in a direction that I did not like, but all my favorite games, man, are from 5th gen. What about you? Man, 6th generation console games were legit. I mean, the games were fully done. There wasn't any patches on day one where you put the game in the console and you just played like Greg Hastings paintball. I mean, that's such a niche market for a video game. Yeah. That was a great game. If you were a paintballer. Yes. Like, I played it endlessly <laughs> with my buddies. I man. mean, that was a good game. The first one, it was a little flop. No, I mean, you only knew who Greg Hastings was if you played paintball, but then the second one hit like Greg Hastings paintball tournament maxed or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Then all the paintball manufacturers were on board with it. Like, Empire, Planet Eclipse, uh, Invert, even though that's Empire now. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. WGP. Oh, my God. Talk about old school stuff in a video oh. game. Yeah. But Halo 2, phenomenal single player game. Mm -hmm. Like, story was like, I was hyped. I was jumping off the couch and the walls. Like, that music, the soundtrack, everything about Halo 2 was just home run. Land parties. Land parties. Uh, multiplayer, online, like... That was when consoles and video game developers got their stuff done on time and they nailed it every single game. I mean, I won't say every single game, but it was great games back then. Yeah. Compared to now where I <laughs> buy a brand new game, put it in, have to wait for the Xbox, you know, download it or PS4 to download it. Then I got to wait for a network uh, update that usually could range from one gigabyte all the way up to freaking what 40 for gears of war 5 oh my god i don't even want to talk about it <laughs> like that was just the best generation like serious sam phenomenal video game there have you ever played serious I sam <laughs> you came after uh, me for final fantasy uh, i'm coming after you for serious sam i have never played serious sam we're playing it be ready that, serious sam episode coming soon <laughs> that is another childhood like game that I'll always hold near to my heart because I mean there was a storyline but it was just like fun like yeah it was rated M but it wasn't yeah. like much gore oh, it's not like Gears of War 5 where you chainsaw some yeah. dude in half <laughs> it's just the guys blew up and there was just a red cloud that was about it but now did you have all the consoles in 6th gen so like Xbox PS2 I, Dreamcast I had Xbox and PlayStation 2 those were the two consoles I had that were uh in my household, like Xbox was a home run. All the games on there were pretty legit. PS2, I mean, I played Killzone and The Sims and uh, Spyro. That was another fun game. What about game. like Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank? Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank, Jack game. and Daxter. I didn't play Jack and Daxter. Ratchet oh. and Clank. But the demolition, like the video demo or the car demolition games, those were freaking fun. Like Twisted Steel and crap like that. 
So what would you say is like your your most nostalgic part of why you oh. really liked sixth? The paintball games. Yeah. Because paintball back then, paintball was on ESPN. I mean, people have known me. My my old hobby was playing paintball. I have a ton of gear that just sits in my closet and I was getting dust. man. But it's a uh, that game was just you play air, you know, speedball all the way up to recreational to scenario games and. I mean, the graphics weren't the greatest, but, like, there was no other paintball game out at the time. Like, paintball was big. It was on ESPN TV, like, headlines. Now, paintball, just like video games, gets scooted off to the side because of violence. Yeah. Now, so, here's here's why I like the 6th gen. It, it's not my favorite generation, 5th is, but why I personally like the 6th gen is because, like, the 5th gen taught gamers or game developers, I'm sorry. They taught game developers what makes a 3D game good. And then they took what they learned there and they made amazing games from there. They took series that were okay Mm -hmm. on the PlayStation 1 and made them phenomenal on the PS2. Like the first person shooter, wow. (laughs) That was insane. I mean, I think the only game I could remember in my recollection of PlayStation 1 is when my uncle John introduced me to South Park Dodgeball. Yes, I remember yes. that game. I remember playing that game. He finally gave me the copy of it to play on my PlayStation Two because I believe backwards compatibility wasn't uh, a big issue back then. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember playing it on my PlayStation Two, and that game was that was the bee's knees too, from what I can remember. Yeah, for me, it's got to be Generation Five. I mean. PlayStation 1, the Saturn, N64. Dude. Technically the Jaguar. What happened? Uh, (laughs) Dude, like, I'm very anti-Sony. Like, I do not like what they did to the industry. But you love the PlayStation? That was your favorite one? That was the place to go to because I'm a huge JRPG player, RPG player. Like, even when I was younger, man... Yeah, I was so into that. Like, I was like, "Mom, Dad, buy me every strategy book that you can," because when you're 10 years old, it's hard oh, to do strategy dude, books. Strategy oh, book, no. you just gave it away. That company still, went out of business. Right? I still remember. No, I don't remember now. I, I know they did. Prima does it now, or whatever they're called. Print whatever. Um, but I still remember. Do you remember Game Shark cheap? Yeah, cheap books. You had to buy which volume for what video games. Oh. Like I, like I said, or we said, or whatever you want to say, that's when video games were at it. Like, you know, it's it's height. That was yeah. the best. Like, when I wanted to play a game, I wanted to play, like, the JRPGs because I love math. I always thought that math and science and, the, like, the way that you do things and you have to calculate stuff, I love doing that. And that's why I love, like, Final Fantasy VII, VIII, IX, Xenogears, Chrono Cross, that vagrant story oh. like there's so many rpgs that i can name <laughs> off right there lunar the, the whatever i don't even remember what it's called i only played the first one there's so many but i'm a huge platformer guy too spyro spyro ripto's rage enter the dragon flyer you're the dragon or whatever it's called oh my gosh it just goes on and on croc croc 2 what else was i talking about I, to be honest with you, half the games you just rattled off. I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm such an Xbox fanboy. I don't know. I mean, probably there was some crossover. I, I guess Final Fantasy was a crossover, but mm-hmm. I never have interest in that kind of style of video game. Like, yeah. I, I was just so, give me a paintball gun and play Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, or Call of Duty Big Red 1. Let's go shoot them up. Like, not a hack and slash style or even like i mean i remember playing spyro that was fun yeah but yeah i was just a big xbox guy see now like i had the playstation one for my sister but the console that my parents really bought me first is like my first console because my sister being so much older than me having all that extra time she had like every console man like i got all that stuff but the one that i got that was really mine was the n64 Honestly, though, it was probably when the Xbox and the PS2 and the Dreamcast were already out and relevant. It was on clearance. Yeah. They probably bought it then, but like Super Mario 64, Harvest Moon 64, Mario Party, Mario Kart 64. Yeah. Like Mega Man 64, Doom 64. Like I played all those games. 
And I liked those specifically for more of like the adventure kind of platforming racing games and oh no crash bandicoot i forgot about that <laughs> oh my gosh i'm sorry if sony fanboys um but like that that was me man and like i had a saturn too and yeah. i would play like panzer dragoon panzer dragoon's vi i wish i had panzer dragoon saga Dude, but it's like 800 dollars. that's just want to talk like about it hardcore like to me being so ignorant towards older video games like that one it sounds like a tank game it's a uh you ever play Kid Icarus? <laughs> okay, let's. No. Uh, it's an on rail shooter. It's like kind of where you see your guy and you have to like move the cursor around at what you want okay. to shoot. But you're on like a like a Panzer. I don't know if you know what a Panzer. Yeah. It's like a dragon, basically. Oh, it's freaking cool, dude! Like it's such a cool game. And like they had Sonic R and they had uh, like the Sonic Collection, the Street Fighter games, all that stuff. More of the Sega oriented stuff I played on the Saturn. But like, man. That console generation was phenomenal. Yeah. Getting into analog controls, 3D games for the first time. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them were super clunky, like Metal Gear Solid. Kind of clunky, but I love that game. Like, <laughs> it, it, was, it really showed me what 3D could be, and it was the first 3D experience I ever had. Now, is that the same video clip I keep seeing of Metal Gear Solid, of you climbing a ladder endlessly? going all the way up do you know which one i'm talking about? no i've <laughs> never don't. seen that i remember just seeing something on youtube of some guy trying to do a, a playthrough video on metal gear solid and snake i think is the main character's mm-hmm. name like climbing a ladder endlessly and people don't know if it was a loading screen or if it was them actually don't remember oh man, man i gotta look it up i haven't played through the first one in a long time but, but yeah i mean that's I guess that's where we stand. So you're what fifth generation, fifth gen, and I'm sixth day. gen. But I mean, look at video games now. Like, w- is it because of the discovery of faster internet? <laughs> like, what happened? Like, why? Why did they take time? I feel like to make video games back then to now, they throw it together, launch it, and then. I think, and this is where I blame Sony and Microsoft. Like, they really tried to broaden the audience so wide but have it so shallow. And I think that's one of the main issues that they ran into. Trying to make it for everyone. Yeah. They like alienated the true gamer. And that's what happened with the Wii man. Look how many units the Wii sold. You'd look at that and be like, Oh my gosh, this was an amazing, extremely successful console. And then the Wii U in five years sells 13 million units. And the switch hits that in the first year. Yeah. I mean, I think I remember from what, (coughs) From what I can remember from the Wii is that it had the ports on the from it to plug in like uh, the the GameCube or yeah GameCube right that's what it's called yeah mm-hmm. the GameCube controllers from the get go and you can yeah. put in GameCube games into it it was just like the all around like yeah that was categorized in the 360 PS3 no PS2 oh my god I'm losing track of freaking <laughs> Console gens. Console gens here. But yeah, the Wii was categorized with the 360 in that same generation. It's like, and they were thinking about backwards compatibility when I can't even yeah. grab and the that's, original Xbox That's what's disc. cool about 6th gen, man, is like 6th gen stuff, <coughs> you could play all your PS1 stuff on the PS2. Your controllers Sony work, your memory though. cards. like, And I give yeah. Sony props for that. And I hope that future console generations can have that. But I think like when 7th gen hit, yeah. The first half of it was fantastic because it followed the mindset of the sixth gen. Let's make amazing games and then we make money rather than let's make money and then make amazing uh, games. That's what I feel like this is all about now is just how yeah. fast can we make a dollar for our shareholders? Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. And I just I really hope that this next gen, ninth gen, ugh. <laughs> gross. I don't like saying <laughs> that. I really hope that they, they have a turnaround of some type to to really give gamers nowadays the same kind of feelings that mean you have about fifth gen sixth gen and yeah people out there have different opinions than ours too you know hey there's one thing us console gamers have over <coughs> pc gamers what's that <laughs> do they even have a generation well thanks for watching dltv <laughs> um oh, <laughs> please boy. comment below what your favorite generation favorite console favorite manufacturer of video games just comment below give us a like share with your friends you know we're putting a lot of time and effort in this. I really hope you guys appreciate what we put out for you. Yeah. Hey, but thanks for watching. DLTV. Deuces.